Good morning. I'm Jan Cope, Provost of the Cathedral, and it's my joy to welcome you to our service this morning on Thursday, July 15th. Let us pray. Lord God, you've brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A prayer of general thanksgiving. Accept, O Lord, our thanks and praise for all that you have done for us. We thank you for the splendor of the whole creation, for the beauty of this world, for the wonder of life, and for the mystery of love. We thank you for the blessing of family and friends and for the loving care which surrounds us on every side. We thank you for setting us at tasks which demand our best efforts and for leading us to accomplishments which satisfy and delight us. We thank you also for those disappointments and failures that lead us to acknowledge our dependence on you alone. Above all, we thank you for your Son, Jesus Christ, for the truth of his word and the example of his life, for his steadfast obedience by which he overcame temptation, for his dying through which he overcame death, and for his rising to life again in which we are raised to the life of your kingdom. Grant us the gift of your spirit that we may know Christ and make him known, and through him at all times and in all places may give thanks to you in all things. Amen. Our passage for today is from the Gospel of Matthew, the 11th chapter, beginning in the 28th verse. Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Comforting words. They were at the time Jesus offered them to his disciples and a people who were weary and burdened. I suspect many of us feel that way. I'm filming this on Sunday, the 11th, July 11th. It's only our second Sunday that we've been reopened for in-person worship. And I have to tell you that there's such relief and joy at seeing people again. But there's also this pent up emotion of being apart for a year and a half and all we've experienced collectively, but also individually. And I, I see those who are heavy laden and weary and burdened. So these words today, I think, come to us in a particularly poignant time in space. I'm so delighted that so many of my cathedral colleagues have begun to take some vacation. Many people who have come to worship since have said, you know, you helped keep us grounded. And we're so humbled by that. But I can tell you what helped keep us grounded were all of you and our beloved cathedral colleagues who were by us every step of the way. And when one person was burdened and heavy laden, another would come up right beside them and help to lift them up and to lift their spirits. And today, as like last Sunday, so many people were tearful at the joy and the relief of being together in community. And I think that's what Jesus' message was all about. These words are so familiar to me as I'm sure they are to you. Come unto me, all ye that are heavy laden, and I will refresh you. Listen to these words again 
in a different translation, one that's offered by Eugene Peterson in The Message. It's scripture, but in more contemporary language. So, listen afresh. Are you tired? Worn out? Burned out on religion? Come to me. Get away with me and you'll recover your life. I'll show you how to take a real rest. Walk with me and work with me. Watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. I won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. Keep company with me, and you'll learn to live freely and lightly. Words of comfort offered by Jesus to a hurting community 2,000 years ago. Words of comfort and refreshment offered for you and me today. Amen. And now will you join me in the prayers our Savior Christ taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O oh God, in the course of this busy life, give us times of refreshment and peace. And grant that we may so use our leisure to rebuild our bodies and renew our minds, that our spirits may be open to the goodness of your creation. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace this day and always. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>